the intro to Rock Me, you strike simultaneously the second and third strings on the second fret on the upbeat. Then strike the sixth string in the second fret lightly. Then strike the second and third strings in the fourth fret. Bend it and shake it a little bit so all together. Followed by the fourth string, fourth fret. Then pick the third string, second fret, back to the fourth string, fourth fret. Then you'll play the sixth string, second fret, followed by the fourth string, second fret, and the fourth string, fourth fret. Now it's going to repeat again, except for this time it'll start on the sixth string, second fret, followed up by the second and third string on the upbeat in the second fret. So the second time through is almost exactly the same except for starting on the 6th string 2nd fret then everything else follows the same the 2nd and 3rd string 2nd fret to the 6th string 2nd fret to the 2nd and 3rd string 4th fret with the bend and the shake. The very ending will be slightly different with the 6th string 2nd fret being the same going to the 4th string 4th fret to the 4th string 2nd fret. The third repeat has a couple changes to it. You still start with the 6th string 2nd fret to the 2nd and 3rd string 2nd fret, the difference being now you play the 2nd and 3rd string 2nd fret on the downbeat instead of the upbeat. It'll be followed up like it was before with the 6th string 2nd fret to the 2nd and 3rd string 4th fret. The 2nd and 4th string 4th fret will be on the upbeat with the bend and the shake. Same follow up, 4th string 4th fret, 3rd string 2nd fret, 4th string 4th fret. The ending of this will be different. It will be followed up with a rake. 4th string 11th fret, 3rd string 11th fret, 2nd string 10th fret. There will be a slight hesitation on that 2nd string 10th fret before you go to the 2nd string 12th fret and bend to 14. With a little vibrato on that bend and then slide down all together. Now we're on the 4th repeat. This time we're going to leave the 6th string 2nd fret out and go to the 2nd and 3rd string 2nd fret on the downbeat. Same as before, 6th string 2nd fret to the 2nd and 3rd string 4th fret on the upbeat bend and shake. 4th string 4th fret, 3rd string 2nd fret, 4th string 4th fret, same as before. Followed by the second repeat ending, 6th string 2nd fret, 4th string 4th fret, 4th string 2nd fret. Now it goes to the octaves. You'll play the 4th string 7th fret and the 2nd string 10th fret together, clipping or muting out the 3rd string in between it. Strike all 3 strings. You won't hear the 3rd string because it's muted out. Now we're going to take the same shape and move it to the 6th fret. So it'll be the 4th string 6th fret with the 2nd string 9th fret. Strike it, slide up to 7 and 10, and right back down to 6 and 9. Keeping the same shape in the 6th and 9th fret, you're going to strike that and slide down to the 4th and 7th fret. Strike 4 and 7, slide down to 2 and 5. Then play the 4th string 4th fret, followed by the 3rd string 2nd fret, followed by the 2nd and 3rd string 4th fret. The 2nd and 3rd string 4th fret, you're going to bend it up and let it slowly fall down. You can play the bend with just the 3rd finger. Stylistically, the 3rd finger is used more in a 70s kind of plane, but they really sound pretty much the same. It'll be followed by the 3rd string 2nd fret, 4th string 4th fret. Let that ring or sustain for 8 beats and then it's going to go into the broken octaves which will be the 4th string 4th fret and the 6th string 2nd fret. Eleven and a half times starting on the 4th string ending on the 4th string. Mm -hmm. 